All right, so today is tax day here in the US, so it's the deadline to file all your taxes and send in your payments and things like that. And so I thought it would be fun to do all of the math related puzzles today. So we're gonna do the Mathler and the Nerdle and we'll do the hard and the easy and the instant and all that jazz. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna start here with the normal Mathler, um, just the regular version. So hidden calculation that equals 50. So let's see, what could we do? We could do something like 12 times 4 plus 2, but then we're repeating the 2. How about 16 times 3, which is 48, add 2. That seems like a good start. Okay. Well, it wasn't a great start, um, but we did rule out some letters, um, or some numbers, I mean. Uh, <laughs> gotta remember, I'm doing numbers, not, not letters today. Uh, and uh, let's see, so there's addition, there's not multiplication. I mean, we could do something like 40 plus, and then, uh, hmm, but then we'd have to do, but then you need 10, so we'd have to do something like, you'd have to do multiplication or addition here. That's not gonna work. Interesting, so, we're adding at some point, but we could do division and addition. Well, why don't we just try addition and subtraction? Let's try that. So let's go with what, like 57 plus, uh, ooh, but we can't do, we can't do one, two, or three. So if we add four, we get to 61. Okay, so 47, let's try 47 plus eight minus five. Let's try that. Okay, so we're really close. We're really close. Okay, so it's 48 plus, hmm, if we add seven, then we have to subtract five. We can't subtract five, so we gotta do subtract eight, but then we'd have to add 10, so we can't do the seven there. So we have to be subtracting seven. So we have to have 48 plus something subtract seven, but that would be seven. No, plus nine, nine, minus seven. I know how to do math. Um, 48 plus nine minus seven will give us 50. There we go. All right, cool. So that was the standard version of the Mathler. Now let's go to the easy Mathler. All right, so we need a calculation that equals two this time. Uh, let's see, I mean, we could do 20 minus 18 seems good. That's four different digits. Ooh, okay, so, oh, it's gotta be something in the teens minus something in the teens then to get to two, because if we're not 20, so it's gotta be like, you know, it could be 19 minus 17. Okay, so 16 minus 14 maybe? 15 minus 13? <laughs> 13, 13 minus 11 then. Okay, interesting, there was three ones in that one. All right, so that took me a little bit to get there. I mean, it wasn't difficult, it just took a lot of guesses because there were quite a few options there. So that, one's, that was a tricky one, interesting. All right, now let's go to the hard mathler. All right, here we go, so we're on the hard mathler, so we can use parentheses and stuff this time. So 146, so... I mean, it could do something like a four digit minus a three digit, but that doesn't let us check as many operations. So that doesn't seem as good. You have to use a two digit somewhere, or at least at least a two digit or greater. You can't do all single digits. It doesn't, it doesn't work with the number of operations that you have. Let's see, so 146 is close to 144. 12 times 12 is 144. We could do something like 12 times 13 which would be 156, then we'd have to subtract 10. Then we'd be using the one three times. That doesn't seem great. Um, so let's do maybe, what if we do like 80 something plus 70 something to get in the 150s and then subtract something in the teens? That might be good, so let's do like 
I don't know, 89 plus 76. I'm just trying to use different digits here. That would be, 100 and, that'd be 165. So we'd have to subtract 19. So if we do, what about 72? That would be 161. So we would then subtract 15. Yeah, that's good. That gets us six unique digits, two operations. Let's go with that. Okay, well, we ruled out a bunch of... We ruled out a lot of high digits, which is interesting. We're going to be using mostly small ones. We're not adding, so I think we're... I mean, unless it's like a four-digit minus a three-digit, I think we're going to be multiplying at some point just to get... I don't know, but we could have... We could have... We can start with big numbers. That's the thing with the hard mathler. I feel like I just need to use some different digits now. So three and four and six and zero are obviously good. Uh, I mean, we could we could do something like 146 plus something. Um, 32 times zero. <laughs> I mean, that would be a, a, a relatively trivial solution, but it does let us check a lot more digits and new positions for the one and the two. So 32 times zero is obviously zero. 146 plus zero is 146. I'm just gonna go with that. Okay, okay, so um, it is a hundred, so, so there's, oh, we knew there was an addition. That was, that was kind of silly. I shouldn't have reused the addition. All right, uh, I should have done subtraction there. Nah, because it would be the same. 146 minus zero is also 140, ah, okay. Dumb mistake. Okay, so we got the spot for the one. We have the three here. We're not multiplying, so we're only doing subtraction and maybe division. Um, I mean, we could just be doing subtraction. Like I said, it could be a four digit minus a three digit. Oh, but it can't be minus, because the three is here. That would have to be the minus there, so. Uh, we could do, I mean, we could do subtraction twice. Uh, 100 and, oh, but we can't get that big because you can't go 7, 8, or 9. So 160-something is the biggest we could do, and we'd have to subtract 30-something. So that's not going to work. Um, now, we could do subtract 30-something divided by something. So we could be subtracting. That would work. So we could do, like, 160, I don't know, 4. Let's just type that in for now. Subtract, and then 30... Uh, it can't be 32, like 36 divided by 6, so that's 6, so that, that's only 158, but it gives us somewhere to start with. We only have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 to use, so we're going to have to reuse at least one digit. So, <clears throat> something like this might work, let's see, what, what would we do for... So 106, if we do 164, we need to subtract 18. So, oh, so 36, yeah, 36 divided by two, this would work. Let's try it. Ooh, really close, okay. So 160, uh, so it's not 36, it's not 32. It's gotta be 34 divided by two, which is 17. And 146 plus 17 is 153? No, 163, sorry. 163 minus 34 divided by two. That's 163 minus 17, which is 146. There we go, cool. All right, so interestingly, the hard mathler in some ways was easier than the easy mathler. Now, it took more thinking, uh, but I was able to get it in fewer guesses because the easy mathler with those repeated ones and just too many options, you kind of got, got stuck in a trap there, so. Interesting. All right, so that was the three Mathlers. All right, now we're going to move on to Nurdle. So this is the classic Nurdle. We're going to start with the classic. Now, remember, in Nurdle, you have to actually put in the equal sign and what your result is. So I'm going to do... So I'm going to do 12 plus 35 equals 47, except I've got to type correctly. There we go. Okay, so we got the one and the equals. This is a two-digit result at the end. It's not addition, so let's try subtraction, maybe? Oh, but we got, uh, but we're doing... Interesting. All right, I'm gonna try a three-digit number minus a single digit. So like a hundred and... Oh, but we're not using two, three, four, five, or seven, so it's gotta be six, eight, and nine. A hundred and six 
minus nine would equal 97, but we don't have a seven. I mean, I could do minus eight equals 98. Let's try that. Okay, so there's no zero or six either. It's all ones, eights, and nines. And there's only one eight. So there's gotta be multiple ones and nines. Okay, and it's not subtraction, it's not addition. Uh, we could do... Hmm, okay, so we could do multiplication maybe, or division? Interesting that we don't have two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Well, we have one eight, but it's almost all ones and nines, the beginning, you know, the, the lowest digit and the highest digit. Hmm, now this is really interesting, because if we do multiplication over here, let's say we put multiplication right there, right? We have one something times, you know, another one something, but you're already over 100 before you even put in the ones digits, so we can't have a two digit number here, so we can't multiply, and if you do a three digit times a single digit, it's obviously gonna be too big, so we've gotta be dividing, but if you do something, I mean, this is something in the teens divided by something in the teens or bigger, you're gonna be too small over here. So I think it's gotta be a three digit divided by a single digit. So a hundred could be like 118 divided by nine. Does that, I don't think that works out though. Cause nine times, yeah, nine times 13 is gonna be 117. But you can't do 111 divided by nine either. And there's, you know, we got, we've got the, and if I do 180 something, like 181, oh, 189, what about 189 divided by nine? No, cause that's gonna be in the 20s. It's gonna be 21. And we can't use a two. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what about, what about 1 times 9 times 9 equals 81? I don't really like the 1 times thing, but that is entirely possible. Alright, let's go with that. Alright, that's what it was. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like those usually, multiplying by 1, adding 0, it feels a little cheap, but, I mean, it is, an, it is a valid equation, so, um, I mean, that, that's a legitimate equation, so. I guess we can't really argue too much. All right, so let's look at the next one. All right, this is the mini nurdle. So uh, let's see, we could do 12. So we could do 12 times five equals, oh no, it's not enough. I was gonna say equals 60, but we don't have that many spaces. All right, let's do four times five equals 20. That's at least four unique digits. Okay, so it's four, not times. Oh, and we've, we've gotta be probably equaling, uh, yeah, equaling a single digit. So it's gotta be something like this. And then, so maybe uh, 40 something divided by something equals a single digit, that would work. So 42 divided by seven equals six. Let's try that. Okay, well basically had it, divided by six equals seven. There we go. All right, so that was the mini nurdle. All right, time for the instant nurdle. Okay, so the six is here. Um, I think we're doing addition and division, so I think it's gonna be equals over here just to have enough room to do addition and, so I think it's gonna be like, we're adding, no, it's got to be adding here, and then it's going to be a two-digit divided by a single digit. So we're adding the result of the division. So something six divided by uh, 50. Hmm. It's got to end up with a single digit. So 16 divided by two is eight. So something plus, no, we can't add eight. We've got to be dividing even more. We've got to end up with a smaller number than that. 16 divided, no, 56 divided by seven is eight 
but we can't do that. Oh, no, 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 that's not what it is. It's, it's, it's 12 divided by 6, which is 2, plus 5 equals 7. Enter. There we go. Okay. Well, that took me longer than it should have, but that's all right. I got it. Um, interesting. I immediately sort of thought that it was going to be adding the result of a division. It was an order of operations thing, but it wasn't. I was trying to make it harder than it was. All right, so that was the instant nurdle. All right, now I'm looking at speed nurdle, and it already started my timer while I was trying to set things up on the screen, so we're just going to subtract a minute from my time. I've never actually done speed nurdle, but apparently it's kind of like instant nurdle crossed with regular nurdle. So it already gave us our first guess, so this is a plus. This is an equals. Uh, we need to do... Okay, so let's just... I'm just going to try and use some digits we haven't used yet. Uh, something like... 52 plus... 34... Would be... 86. So let's do... 37... Would be 89. Let's go with that. Okay? So no two or eight. There is a five, a three, and a seven. Okay, so this uh, maybe seventy something. We're gonna get big really fast then. We don't have a one or a two, so it can't be seventy something. It can't be fifty something. So, so we'll start with thirty. Thirty-five maybe plus forty-nine. What would that be eighty-four? Equals eighty-four. We don't have an eight, and we can't have a four at the end. So, we need a 7 in there somewhere. Hmm. If we get to 87, this would have to be... 38 plus 49 would be 87, but we don't want the 8. We want to be... If we get to 97? Yeah, 97. If we do a 5 here, 38 plus 59 would be 97, but we need to have a 4 somewhere. Hmm. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to go with that anyways, I know, and I'm going to get a, a penalty added down here for these guesses, but, um, okay, so it, it, we are getting closer, we are getting closer, so that's good. 97, plus 5, uh, there's a 3, oh, the 3 has to be here, that's the only place for it, and then we need to use, uh, a C, a 4, Four. Yeah, we need to use a 4 in one of these two spots. So it's going to be here, because 3 plus 4 equals 7. And so then this is... Uh, what? 7, this has to be 4. So 43 plus 54 equals 97. There we go. Alright, so... Oh, my time went away. Well, I don't know what my time was, but you guys probably know, because the timer was on the screen. Uh, it disappeared. Um, let me see if I go to the share... There we go. Okay, so 3 minutes and 49 seconds. I'm going to subtract a minute, because it took me some time to get it all you know, arranged on the screen here, so. So just under three minutes, that's pretty good. I'll, I'm happy with that for my first time doing a speed nurdle. That's interesting, it's kind of like regular nurdle, except uh, you, you can't take your time, <laughs> essentially. Um, pretty cool, all right. All right, next up is Numble, and I think I've probably done Numble one time ever. I think it's a lot like Mathler. You're basically just trying to make the equation that's on the side over here. Um, Let's see, we've got... So we could do two two-digit numbers and a single digit with two operations. So we could do like, you know, 13 times... Uh, no, we could do... I mean, you could do 11 times 11 minus 1, <laughs> which would be kind of interesting. Uh, you'd just be repeating the one. You know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. You know, I, I know... Um, obviously there's, there's a lot of benefit to using different digits, but, um, what this does do is pretty well locate any ones in the grid. So I'm just gonna, why not? Let's go for that. Okay. So, no ones. Great. Great start. Uh, there is multiplication. There is a subtraction right here. In fact, uh, won't let us, okay, won't let us type them in in individual places, which is weird, because it'll let me click on individual things, but not type them in. Okay. So, no ones. Um, okay, so we could do something times something times something, 
to get us like, you know, maybe 125. That would be interesting. Five. <laughs> well, five times five times five. Minus five. Should we just continue our trend of using all of one digit? Um, I mean, that works. Let's try it. Okay, there's no fives either. <laughs> but it is multiplication, multiplication, and subtraction. So... <laughs> That's funny. Alright, three... Uh, we could do three times four, which is twelve, times six, which is 120, and subtract zero. That's four, un four new digits. Let's try that. Twelve times... No, that's not right. Twelve times six. It's twenty times six. I've been I've done too many of these number puzzles already. Clearly. All right. So, I mean, f we could do t twenty times six, but then you'd have four times five. So, let's do twenty-four times five is one hundred and twenty. So we need to not be one hundred and twenty. We need to be one hundred and twenty-six. Maybe could we do three times seven? times six. That's 21 times six, which is 126 minus six. Let's go for that. Ooh, we're really close. So it's three. Oh, well, it's just, okay. I had it. It's just these two are backwards. All right. Three times six times seven. There's obviously not commutative answers on this one like there is on some of the other puzzles. So there we go. All right. We got it. Oh man, okay, so we got it. That was a rough one. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. What else What else can we do? All right, I'm gonna do one more. This is called primal. Um, you're just guessing the prime number. Um, I happen to know that one, two, three, four, seven is a prime. It's five unique digits, I'm just gonna go with that. Okay, so it's something in the 10,000s. Uh, interestingly, no two, three, four, seven, so five, six, eight, nine. Uh, 15689, is that a prime by chance? Um, it could be. It's not a prime, okay. And the hard part about this is, like, who knows five digit prime numbers, right? All right, I'm looking at a list of prime numbers. We only have five, six, eight, nine, and one. So one, five, six, four, nine, one, five, six, Let's see, 15889. We could do 15889. Let's do that. Okay, so it does end in 9. Oh, it's only 1, 6, and 9. Okay, so 1, 6, and 9. So let's look in the 16,000s. Oh, and 0. We haven't used a 0. So 16901 would work. Okay, no zeros either, so it's only one six, it's not 16,000. Let's look in the 19,000s. There is a six. 19069? No, no zeros. No zeros. Oh, and there's only the one one, so it's all six nines after that. So it's got to be one. One nine six nine nine. Okay, there we go. We got it. That one's kind of silly. Um, unless you happen to know you know, five-digit prime numbers, you're, I mean, I, I don't know any way to do it other than to look it up or randomly type in numbers. I mean, I kind of know, don't end with an even and make sure they don't add up to a multiple of three or nine, but other than that, like, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, all right, that was um, a whole bunch of number puzzles. I'm sure there's some more out there. Those are all the ones that I have done before. Um, so let me know what you thought of those, how you did on those math puzzles. Um, if you haven't, if you're in the U.S. and you haven't done your taxes yet, um, you got a few hours left probably, better get on it. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. This works just like normal Wordle, except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're gonna get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are. Oh, we can do another P. We can do another P, apply. There we go, okay. Now this has to be a P. Totally pulled that out of nowhere, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh no, 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 not necessarily, because we could repeat the E or the O. Ozone would be really good there, and that would be a really tricky one with the Z.